In last week's video, I talked about how the climate gate scandal rocked the global warming scientific community and how ultimately the goal is to use global warming to destroy capitalism, which obviously leads into this video. So I recommend watching last week's video if you haven't seen it first before going any further. Now, what got me going down this rabbit hole was this article from the Canadian Free Press. Green is the new red. The intent of the Green New Deal is not to save the planet, but rather to use climate alarmism as an excuse to destroy America's capitalistic economy. Now, let's be honest here. This is a pretty bold claim, one I happen to agree with. But of course, we have to go and dig deeper to see if there actually is substance to this. Now, I'm going to go and skip the editorialization here, and we're just going to go and jump down and read this quote. This is the first time in human history that we are setting ourselves the task of internationally changing, getting rid of, the economic development model that has reigned since the Industrial Revolution. So the quote itself came from yet another website, which is Investor Business Daily, a website I've never heard of. Well, it turns out it's an American newspaper that deals with economics, Wall Street, international business, and was founded in 1984. Unofficial reveals reason behind warming scare. Economic systems. The alarmists keep telling us their concern about global warming is all about man's stewardship of the environment. But we know that's not true. A United Nations official has now confirmed this. At a news conference last week in Brussels, Christiana Figures, executive secretary of UN's Framework Convention on Climate Change, admits that the goal of environmental activists is not to save the world from ecological calamity, but to destroy capitalism. And now we have the quote in its entirety. This is the first time in the history of mankind that we are setting ourselves the task of internationally within a defined period of time to change the economic development model that has been reigning for the last 150 years since the Industrial Revolution, she said. Referring to a new international treaty, environmentalist hope will be adopted at the Paris Climate Change Conference later this year, she added. This is probably the most difficult task we have ever given ourselves, which is to internationally transform the economic development model for the first time in human history. And what economic model can she possibly be referring to? Why capitalism, of course. The only economic model in the past 150 years that has ever worked at all is capitalism. Now, one way you can go and counter this argument that is being presented here is that this is simply just editorialization, that there is no smoking gun, that what they're talking about is really trying to destroy capitalism. Except we've heard this before, and it's coming from the World Economic Forum, talking about how we need to go and transform capitalism into stakeholder capitalism. Now, one thing that kind of bothered me is that I felt that this quote was kind of disembodied, and I tried tracking it down to its original source. After all, I couldn't find a video related to it. I did find a lot of articles that were quoting it, but not the source. And there's a reason for that, because the page that it came from was deleted. But fortunately, I was able to go and find an archived version. And as you can see, this is coming straight from the horse's mouth. United Nations Regional Information Center for Western Europe. Figures. First time the world economy is transformed internationally. And this was posted on February 3rd of 2015. The top UN climate change official is optimistic that a new international treaty will be adopted at Paris Climate Change Conference at the end of the year. However, the official Christiana Figures, the executive secretary of the UNFCCC, warns that a fight against climate change is a process and that the necessary transformation of the world's economy will not be decided at one conference or in one agreement. 
This is probably the most difficult task we have ever given ourselves, which is to internationally transform the economic development model for the first time in human history. Ms. Figures stated at a press conference in Brussels. Now, I know I keep reading this quote over and over again, but I'm doing this to provide context. This is the first time in the history of mankind that we are setting ourselves the task of internationally, within a defined period of time, to change the economic development model that has reigned for the last 150 years, since the Industrial Revolution. That will not happen overnight, and it will not happen at a single conference on climate change, be it COP 15, 21, 40, you choose the number. It just does not occur like that. It's a process because of the depth of transformation. And now we have the full context of the quote, but there's something else I found to be very interesting in this archived article. Something about 2020. Figures, however, pointed out that the legal treaty is one part of four important parts of the process. In addition to the treaty, there are the current climate change actions from now until 2020, the financing package and the so-called Intended National Determined Contributions, INDCs. These are the actions that countries intend to take under a global agreement from 2020 and have to be publicly outlined before the start of the conference. It is expected that all four major economies will deliver their plans in time. The US, China, and the European Union have already shown their cards. Now, I do find this rather interesting because they do mention 2020. And as we know, 2020 was the year that really started pushing the Great Reset. It's probably a coincidence, but you never can tell. Now, there was a bit of a fly in the ointment, so to speak, that kind of ruined some of this, I believe. That being the election of Donald J. Trump. Why? Well, because he pulled us out of the Paris Climate Accord which Joe Biden unceremoniously put us back in. But Ian, you ask, there's still no smoking gun. Or is there? Now, it doesn't help that the World Economic Forum released this article back in 2016. Does capitalism need some more Marxism to survive the fourth industrial revolution? Okay, it's not quite the smoking gun I'm building up towards. But it does show you that they do want Marxism and capitalism. And again, this is dating back to 2016. I'm not going to bore you with the details of the article because it's crap we've already covered. It's basically stakeholder capitalism without directly saying it. But the Green New Deal, however, is not about the environment, but about changing the economy. And this is something that's a little bit more recent. This coming from Yahoo News. AOC's chief of staff admits the Green New Deal is not about climate change. Well, now, I bet you're all just as shocked as I am. I'm really not that shocked. Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, Chief of Staff, Seika Chakrabarty, admitted recently that the true motive behind introducing the Green New Deal is to overhaul the entire economy. Chakrabarty said that addressing climate change was not Ocasio-Cortez's top priority in proposing the Green New Deal during a meeting with the Washington governor, Jay Inslee. The interesting thing about the Green New Deal is it wasn't originally a climate thing at all. Chakrabarty said to Inslee's climate director, Sam Ricketts, according to a Washington Post reporter who attended the meeting for a profile published Wednesday. Now, seriously, the fact that this article has not been deleted shocks the hell out of me. Do you think of it as a climate thing? Because we really think of it as a how do we change the entire economy thing, he added. The Green New Deal, proposed earlier this year by Ocasio-Cortez and Senator Ed Markey, Democrat of Massachusetts, would transition the U.S. economy entirely away from fossil fuels within 10 years while simultaneously providing a federal jobs and health care guarantee. It would also, according to proponents, advance social, economic, racial, regional, gender-based justice and equity and cooperative and public ownership. Now, that sounds an awful lot like communism to me, and this is obviously in line with everything that is being proposed by the World Economic Forum and Klaus Schwab and the Great Reset. Yes, 
This is about transforming the global economy and making it more like communism. Well, it's not going to be more like communism. It is going to be communism. This is the end goal. You will own nothing. You will have no privacy and you will like it. Unless we do something about it, folks, again, as I always end these videos, get involved with your local government. Be an activist for your rights. It's very important that we do these things or these people are going to win out. This is Ian signing off. Thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, we have a deep content library that includes interviews with everyone from Mike Cernovich to Megan Murphy, so go check it out. If you'd like to see more, please consider supporting the show by visiting unsafespace.com slash donate. You can find us on all the major social media platforms, at least for now, and you can find a community of like-minded individuals on our Unsafe Space chat on Telegram. See you there. Warning. This is an unsafe space. Dangerous ideas have been detected. The content of this production has not been authorized by the cathedral. Pay no attention to it. The following co-conspirators have been unpersoned and marked for cancellation. Please direct any appeals to our internal review board, at dev slash null. Please note that seppuku, while encouraged, does not guarantee absolution. If you think about it, no one should be allowed to express opinions. But don't. Think about it, I mean. That's not your job. Thinking has been scientifically proven to be less efficient than compliance. Thank you for participating in our longitudinal study of new and exciting messenger RNA gene therapy techniques. Please make a note of any abnormal growths, loss of vision, difficulty breathing, or death. Computer voice Curtis, never mind, that last line is fake news. Please disregard it and return to your safe space immediately. There will be cake.